Hi, this is Albert here, and today the main topic I'm going to talk about is BT Core. So the main reason I chose this topic is because while I was preparing for the Geography Olympiad, I learned a lot about the pesticides and also about corn. So when I heard about this thing, I grew really interested in it, and I hope you'll understand what I'll be talking about. So, BT corn. So, first off, what is BT? So, Bacillus thuringiensis is a soil bacterium that produces a protein that kills lots of insects. It is really specific to certain insects and has been used as an organic insecticide since 1960s. And so, what is BT corn? BT can easily be uh, washed off during big rains or could break down when exposed to UV light. So, in order to fix this problem, scientists identically engineered some corns to produce the proteins from BT genes so that the corn itself is an insecticide. And after it becomes BT corn, toxic proteins are protected from UV light so they last longer. And they also continuously produce the protein so the effects are prolonged. And how is BT corn produced? So the first step, DNA e extraction. You take in a sample from the bacteria and get the DNA. So in the first step of gene cloning, uh, you take a uh, DNA plasmid from the bacteria, uh, as shown here. And then uh, you take uh, an enzyme that will cut apart this uh, DNA plasma and I'll just use a scissor here to represent the enzyme because uh, like a scissor it cuts apart the plasma and then after cutting apart it uh, you end up with this um, this is the plasma that is cut apart and then after this uh, you take part of the gene of uh, the desired gene, which in our case uh, is the BT gene. So this one here is the BT gene. And then you combine it uh, with the original plasmid and you end up with it with this, uh, the new one, which has the desired gene that uh, you want. And after having the new gene, uh, we, we can copy it many times like this and we end up with many copies of uh, the, the plasmid DNA with the gene we want. So step 3 is called gene design and during this step the scientists cut apart the gene with enzymes and replace certain parts with new parts and the first part is called the promoter and it acts as an on-off switch that controls when and where in the plant the gene will be expressed. And the second one is marker gene, and it helps identify the plant cells that have the specific integration of the new gene. And the last part is called the termination sequence, and it basically tells that the sequence has ended. Step 4. The newly modified gene is injected into the corn cell's nucleus. Um, some of the cells receive the new genes, but some do not. And since the cells are totipotent, the cells that do receive the new genes can then grow into a corn in the greenhouse. And these corns will have the new BT gene in every cell. And the last step is called backcross breeding. The farmer breeds a new corn with the best corn to combine both desired traits into one corn and their offsprings are repeatedly crossed back with the top corn to make sure they are top quality. And how does BT corn actually work? So the insect will proceed a part of the corn that has the BT protein, and a few minutes later the protein binds to the gut wall of the insect, and the insect will stop eating the corn. After a few hours the gut wall breaks down, and the normal gut bacteria gets inside the insect's body and kills it. 
So this picture basically sums up um, the whole process. You see from the first one is a bacteria and it is transferred into the corn and then the European corn borer which is one of the insects will eat it and then uh, the bacteria will um, go into the insect and kill it. And there's actually some controversy surrounding BT corn because some people uh, believe that BT corn will harm other organisms such as the monarch butterfly. But the research from the US Environmental Protection Agency shows that it doesn't harm the monarch butterflies. And um, since BT is only specific to certain insects, it does not harm other insects or animals. Although some BT toxin is found in the blood serum of pregnant women and their fetuses, but um, there is no harm that we know of. So it is um, actually pretty safe for everyone else. And the pros and cons of BT corn. The pros are that um, BD corn can kill the insects and it doesn't harm other organisms in the process. And since uh, BT corn is more useful than BT pesticide, it can reduce the use of the pesticides and uh, it can help the environment. And it also increases the farmer's income. But the cons are that um, since it has been used for a long time, some species are now resistant to BT corn and also growing too many BT corn can reduce the genetic diversity. So this one, this graph shows that um, as there are more BT corn uh, grown and there are a lot less pe pesticides used. So that is good for the environment. And uh, on the other hand, this graph shows that as more BT crops are grown, um, there are uh, more insect species that are becoming resistant, resistant to it. So, like maybe in a few years, uh, BT corn will be completely useless. So, is BT corn good or bad? I think BT corn is good since it doesn't harm other organisms that aren't targeted, and it can also increase the farmer's income. But realistically, uh, in a few years, it might not be functional anymore since more insects are becoming resistant to it. And uh, it has been really beneficial for the last few decades and will probably still be for a little while, but uh, to be honest, it will not be useful in the future. This is a list of sources that I used during my research.